Prayer for favor in the workplace and in business. Your workplace and business are where you earn a living, taking care of your family and loved ones, so you have every right to protect them through prayers. We are going to go into prayer right now to protect your workplace and business by handing them over to the hands of God to guide and guard against the manipulations of enemies. Let us pray. Pray along with me as I pray. But before then, are you new here? Please don't forget to subscribe to our prayer channel. Subscription link in the description box. God bless you. All right, now. Let us pray. Everlasting Father King of Glory, thank you for your grace and unending love for me and my family. Thank you for your daily supplies and provisions. Lord, I am most delighted and grateful unto you. Thank you for the gift of life and health, which with it I have been able to engage in my work and in my businesses. For I know that the gift of life and health cometh not from the south or the west, or the east or the north but from you. Therefore dear Lord, thank you for considering me for this wonderful gift. Dear Lord, now that it has pleased you to have given me health and life, to work and to do businesses. Lord, I ask in addition that you give me favor in all of my engagements. For it is your favor to prosper and promotes whoever you make it available unto. Therefore dear Heavenly Father, I ask for this favor of yours in my place of work and businesses. For your word says in Proverbs 14 verse 9, that fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. Therefore dearest Heavenly Father, you know me, that I am no fool, that I make mock of sin. Therefore dear Lord, give me that portion of the righteous which your word says is favor. Grant me all round favor in my workplace and business, after the order of Joseph. For your word says in Genesis chapter 39 from verses 2 to 5. And the Lord was with Joseph and he was a prosperous man, and he was in the house of his master the Egyptian. Verse 3. And his master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. Verse 4. And Joseph found grace in his sight, and he served him, and he made him overseer over his house, and all that he had he put into his hand. Verse 5. And it came to pass from the time that he had made him overseer in his house, and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake, and the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house, and in the field. And in verses 21 and 22 your word says, But the Lord was with Joseph, and showed him mercy, and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners that were in the prison, and whatsoever they did there, he was the doer of it. And in Genesis chapter 41 verses 38 to 44 your word says, And Pharaoh said unto his servants, Can we find such a one as this is, a man in whom the Spirit of God is? And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God hath showed thee all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. Thou shalt be over my house, and according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled, only in the throne will I be greater than thou. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand, and put it upon Joseph's hand, and arrayed him in vestures of fine linen, and put a gold chain about his neck. And he made him to ride in the second chariot which he had, and they cried before him, Bow the knee, and he made him ruler over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I am Pharaoh, and without thee shall no man lift up his hand or foot in all the land of Egypt. Dear Father Lord, I ask for the same order of favor in my workplace and in all that I do and will ever do. In the name of your Son, Lord Jesus, the Christ. Dear Father Lord, give me also the kind of favor that you gave to Esther in the book of Esther chapter 2 and 5. Dear Father Lord, let me have this favor on whosoever that will ever look upon me. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Give me also dear Father Lord, the kind of favor that you gave Daniel. In Daniel chapter 1 verses 9 to 10. Also, dear Father Lord, give me also the kind of favor that you gave to the Israelites when you were about taking them out of the land of Egypt to the promised land. For your word says in Exodus chapter 11 verse 3. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Moreover the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh's servants, 
and in the sight of the people. Dear Father Lord, I ask for the same kind order of favor in my place of work and anywhere I find myself. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father Lord, in accordance with your word of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 10. And Isaiah chapter 61 verse 5. Let the strangers and even those that I may not have any knowledge about them come and favor me O Lord. Father, let these and more be my portion from today and always. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Now I pray for you. Everlasting Father King of Glory. Thank you for the life of my listeners. Father Lord, they desire favor in their places of work and in their businesses O Lord. I therefore ask that you grant them their desires, in the name of Jesus Christ. O Lord, for you asked me to ask in Matthew chapter 7 verses 7 to 8. Ask, and it shall be given you, seek, and ye shall find, knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Therefore Father Lord, with faith, hope and confidence in your word, I ask, that let every one of my listeners here from today begin to enjoy strange order of favor in their workplaces and businesses. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the type of favor that will pay for their entire lifetime of laboring locate them in their businesses and places of work this week. In Jesus' name, let them receive a call of favor that will transform their lives and existence this week. In the name of Jesus Christ, let favor, Goodness and mercy be their companion wherever they go and in everything they do. In the name of Jesus Christ, let all their challenges in life be turned to testimonies through their encounters with favor from you this week. In the name of Jesus Christ, let no listener here have any regret watching and joining in this prayer today, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I declare every listener blessed. In the name of God the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Thank you Father Lord for answer, for in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this prayer, we appreciate it. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video to reach more people. Also, our team will appreciate it if you could share this video with your friends on social media. Are you new here? Subscribe and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.